Good morning folks and welcome. And right we're uh, this is just a quick update video. The uh, veneer for the Bush VHF 41 is ordered. Uh, I'll be doing the cabinet on that and then getting back to the chassis on that. That's where we're up to with that. And the Dancet Bermuda uh, is finished. I've just got to screw it all back down. I've got to put a cord clamp in it for the cord yet. But that's why I've not screwed it down. But uh, what I've had to do, I've had to change the knobs on these control switches on the deck. Because the uh, what happens with the originals, we can just find the speed one, because it's the speed one that's really gone. You know, now I want to show you, I won't be able to fucking find it, I hate that. You know, I just hate it when, you, when you're looking for something and you know you've got it, there it is. Right, let's, let's see if we can zoom in on this. Right, what happens with these... What happens with them? Fuck me. Right, what happens with these, as you can see there, see the cracks? Well, that's what happens with them. Basically, they crack and uh, you know they just fall fall to bits then so basically it's a shame and all because that's a good knob look at it. it's got all nice writing on it and everything look but that's the problem with it anyway so what I've done so get and put that over there so what I've done, let's turn that up, there's no hum from this, none whatsoever, that is working absolutely beautifully, what I've done I've put, a, I've put an earth in the mains lead, I've, put a mains, I've replaced the mains lead with one with an earth in it, and there's, there's a joker on eBay, I can't remember who it is, but uh, he sells all done set spares and he'll sell you a mains lead with an earth hanging out of it. You can put your own on. You know, and I think he charges about 30 quid or something for a bloody for, he calls it he calls it a done set Bermuda upgrade kit. A mains lead upgrade kit. You know. Uh, and you can fucking make your own up for a couple of pounds, I mean. That lead there, that wire there, cost me nothing. Uh, the earth wire I've got here, the green wire, green and yellow wire, it cost me nothing. Uh, you know, you know, so, so, you know, some people are just dicks, and they think the rest of us are as well. Anyway, uh, let's. Uh, Let's give you a quick listen, I better turn the volume down, it's, uh, it's about, about half seven in the morning. Uh, the light on the front works. This mechanism works absolutely beautifully. I'll give you a quick listen to a little bit of each record. This cartridge is not bad either. That's fairly loud. Works absolutely lovely. Luckily, they, luckily when they when they made the UA the UA twenty five, they kept a lot of the design the same, so that so the controls. So, so the controls from the uh, UA15 SS actually fit, and you don't have to do any modifications now to make them fit. Is a story. And it looks a bit like a UA uh, a UA15 SS now, 
and uh, that was fitted to these de to many of these units anyway. So. Gee, but it's great to be back home. Home is where I want me. Tone works lovely. And you know something, I haven't recapped this, I've done no work on the amplifier whatsoever. All I've done is put a new valve in it. All it's got is a new valve. That's all I've done, I've done nothing else to it. Not needed to do out to it, there's no hums, crackles, nothing. You know, but when I sell it, how about that? That felt like it was slipping. That one, I don't think it was. And look at the spin down on the turntable, it's lovely that, there's no no rumble on this at all, you know, it's nice. Uh, look at that, look at that spin down. Most of them have usually stopped by now, but look at that, and it's got that all, got all the records on it as well. Got about eight, seven or eight records on it, and it's, look at that. What a spin down, that's brilliant. Anyway, let's uh, let's take these singles off. Put these up here for a minute. And what we'll do, we'll try. Or we'll do we'll give it a go with a seventy-eight, and turn the stylus over for seventy-eight. There we go, spot on. We all possess more or less and perhaps a bit to spare. No matter what it is, you've got you. And that's your seventy eight. Oh, there we go. That's 78, let's put an LP on. The LPs are a bit lower because they cut at lower volumes. Oops. Well, actually, I'll use my test record. Use my test record. Needs cleaning this. That turntable's still going. Right. 33 and a third, or if you're in Ireland, is. Dirty tree and a turd. There we go. I'll let it go to the first track and then I'll move it to the second. Look at that. That's full volume. That's not bad that, it's full volume and there's no hums, no crackling. All I've done with this is put a new valve in it and sprayed the switches. Done no capacitors and I don't intend to because there's nothing wrong with it. But when I sell it, I will sell it with the usual three month warranty. So if it does fail, I'll repair it. I'll sell it with the same warranty as if I'd serviced it. I mean, the deck's been serviced. Uh, it's got one of my BSR full fire rebuilt cartridges in. Uh, And uh, 
you know, I've had to obviously make a modification in the front of the arm to take that. I went a bit mad with it, cutting and making that cut out, but it'll do. It's alright. We've got uh, we've got 78 on one stylus and LP on the other. I can't remember if I turned it over for 78. Yeah, I think I did. Can't remember. I mean, on the last video on this, let's take that off. Let's get it to the end. There we go. Nothing. Look how long it's taking for that to, to spin down. I can't believe how nicely, how well this, this deck actually works. It's a brilliant one. I mean, I've not seen one that runs like that for ages. I mean, that turntable's lovely and, you know, it's, yeah. But you can't. No humps. Nothing. That's what you want. Anyway, folks, like I say, that's getting re veneered next week when the veneer comes, and this is getting screwed up later when I find a cord grip suitable to clamp the power cable down inside the machine. Uh, then this will be offered for sale. So if anybody's interested, you don't have to go to eBay or out like that, you can just let me know. And it will come with a it will come with an old quibble uh, three month warranty. It will come with a warranty as if I service the amplifier. So you know what I mean. The only thing I don't guarantee in the am the only thing I don't guarantee in the amplifier. I guarantee the valve. I'll give you three months on the valve. But what I don't guarantee is the transformers, because obviously, even when people do rebuilds of the amps, when I, no matter who they are, when they do rebuilds, they don't put new transformers in. So I don't guarantee the transformers, but I will guarantee every other part uh, for three months because uh, this is very, very good. It's I was going to recap it, but why? The only thing I've done is put a new. The only thing I've done is put a new metal rectifier in it. Well, not a new metal. I've changed the metal rectifier to a diode. To a modern silicon rectifier. That's all I've done. And put a new valve in it. I put a new valve in it because the one that was in it looked. It was probably okay, but it looked disgustingly bad. So I put a new. I went ahead and put a new valve in it. Anyway, folks, I'm going to end it here. I'm not going to keep it long. And I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.